What's good? It's Asia Sky from the DX Daily Podcast. And during a recent interview with Revolt TV's Assets Over Liabilities, Rockefeller Records co-founder Dame Dash said his company's retail arm, Rockaware, was at one point almost sold to Tommy Hilfiger for almost $450 million. So we were about to sell it to Tommy Hilfiger for like, you know, $450 million. I had got jumped in uh, Paris during Fashion Week. That's where I, you got the scar from, right? Yeah, but I caught wreck. And I got the film, I can show it to you. And Tommy is in my ear like, yo, I want to buy the company, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yo, I got a concussion, man, it's loud. Let's talk later. But they did make the offer. The minute, and so I would have walked away with like $40 million. <laughs> and when you, when you um, put a company to get bought, there's due diligence that comes with it. So due diligence is lawyers that just, it costs like a million dollars just to look through everything. We go through all of that. Right before we close, your man makes an announcement that he's launching another brand, S. Doc Carter. So it devalued the brand, and they left. Tommy Hilfiger left. Yeah, because they were like, if Jay's not a part of it, we don't want it. Now, while the story is disheartening, it was one of many anecdotes shared with assets. Elsewhere during the conversation, Dame Dash said that these experiences all taught him just how imperative a good sales team is for a company. Anything that's run by the ads, the sales team, that's the boss, because that's the person that's paying the bills. So if you want to get in this business, and what I'm learning is the subscription doesn't work, paid subscription doesn't work. So anybody thinks Netflix, this, that, and the third, they just drop 40%. They always got to raise a billion. They might have a lot of catalog right now, but they spend a lot of bread. Tubi is up 40%, it's free TV. So free subscription works. But if you have people coming directly to you, then you have to have your own sales team. So after hearing everything that Dame Dash had to say, what do you think about what happened with the sale of Rockaware? And what do you think it would have been like if Tommy Hilfiger actually did buy the clothing line? Let us know in the comment section. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast and keep it locked to Hip Hop DX.